get over the boots on again. <laughs> I'm in Glasgow today and I'm interviewing a couple of members of the cast um, for Paddy's. I did a live, but this is in person and I'm really looking forward to meeting Chris and Tanya. Join me after the break. Is it not? It is. We have a private booth. <laughs> it is. It's great. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm with Chris Healy and I'm with um, Tanya. Hi there. I said Tanya. Tanya, what's your second name again? McCaffrey. McCaffrey, <laughs> yep. <laughs> right, so both from um, Paddy's, which is yep. what I went to see um, a week ago with my sister. I really loved it. So I never got a chance to get Chris on live when I did a Facebook live. So I've got you right now in person. Yay. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, first time I've met you, Tanya. Yes, lovely to meet you. Yeah, it was really lovely to meet you too. And you, you played... Um, Tizer. You played I Tizer in the, the, yes. the show, and you played Vinyl. Vinyl Vinny and, and the you were multi-tax skin, didn't And the <laughs> council inspector as well. <laughs> you were the, the, the big baddie in, in yeah, the actual yeah, 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 show. Yeah, everybody can hate me, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you played the part so well, Chris, I thought it was brilliant. Thank you, you so did. much. <laughs> Very expressional face you've got, so you were really I, good. I've, I've been told that plenty of times, <laughs> I like your face. <laughs> Like. Yeah, <laughs> it was really good. You played it really good, quite harsh at times. Yeah. And them all know that you were the boss. I'm in charge. <laughs> I'm in charge. So did you enjoy playing that part? I love playing that part. See, for the fact that I've got a good character, obviously Vin Vin Vinyl, he doesn't he doesn't say much, do you know what I mean? Just he just sells his records. Going through his records. And um, the council <laughs> inspector is maybe a challenging part because I have, I have to have that authority. Uh -huh. And I'm too freaking nice for that, if you know what I mean. So like all the way through the hearsings, Paul was like no, you need to be a wee bit more nasty, a wee bit more in control, a wee bit more uh, in charge. And I'm like, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> well, you've done it quite well, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you know, your point it took a while, pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, I got there in the end. It's, and it's really good. Great. It's been a sellout, really, that, hasn't it? Yeah, it's three amazing. three sellout shows amazing. so far. And yeah. we're hoping the next is going to be sellouts and all, so buy your tickets. <laughs> Absolutely. So the next one's in... Um, in the Little Bigger Festival Little Bigger. in the Common Exchange on the 19th of October and then Webster's on the 2nd of November is the last wow. show. So. That's brilliant, eh? Absolutely. So still got tickets left, obviously. Yeah. It, when I was trying to get tickets, it was quite hard yeah. for the one that I went to in East School Bride, so right. it was a real popular show. East School Bride was down to the last tickets when you were yeah. purchasing your tickets. I, I mean, like, I'm the sure the there was two. only a couple left, if yeah. you mean, before. Yeah, it was brilliant. It's done well. And the people that was actually at the show when we were there were uh, a lot of old people and I thought that was really lovely because Absolutely. then because Paddy's Market's about the well history. Paddy's about the history the of history. the people Absolutely. of Glasgow yeah. and it was basically my gran was there as well in East Bride on the Saturday as well and she was actually handing out the wee leaflets <laughs> at the door and I was really shocked to find that a blind party had went, like a party of blind people turned up as well. Did I mean, they, really? they couldn't see us, but they could hear us, they but they wanted hear. to come for that experience. Oh, and I thought, you know what, amazing. see for the so fact amazing. that blind people have turned up to see it. <laughs> like, I, I just loved, um, when I was speaking to the writer as well, Paul, he was saying that a lot of the older people were actually... They were crying and they were singing. Yeah. And you couldn't get them to shut up. They were just no, like... No, you can't. You can't. <laughs> like, you can it. hear them. We can hear them backstage yeah. just as they're all leaving. They were all leaving singing half a pair of shoes. And Paul's done an amazing job writing it because he's he is an amazing writer. He likes... Did you hear him say that? He likes to tell true stories. He does. He does. And, it's, and, and, and he's no and scared to pick up any touchy subjects. And mm -hmm. I think that's what I love so much about Paddy's that it's... It's such a iconic story if you know uh, what I mean exactly what I mean about the history of the market and it getting shut down and yeah. sorry I'm glad I don't know him the, the last of, in the life the of the wee girl, you're wee girl isn't it hey, Jeannie Absolutely, so she's wee Jeannie and yep. um, her name is um, Asante it's Asante Asante Finlay Absolutely. and you know she really shines on that stage Thank she you. really does doesn't she yeah. she does she loves it she's just so and her voice do you Thank know you. she had the, the hairs on my arms sticking up? She oh, yeah. that's because amazing. She's got such a passionate wee voice. She loves to, to sing. She's beautiful wee She girl. loves to sing. Yes. Thank you, Asante's quite yeah. talented. She wants to do this as a career. Um, and I think Chan Direct has absolutely produced so many opportunities uh -huh. for both of us because um, I act with her. Um, you know, to, to be in the show has been an amazing thing. We've made good friendships. Definitely. Yeah, um, definitely. Great experience, great banter, great fun. And yeah. she's very blessed. We're both blessed. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same as Isabel. Like Isabel, we can't even forget to mention Isabel. Isabel Barrett, she's an amazing director. She's, uh -huh. She can be quite stern at times, but I you know what? <laughs> it's worth every. It's worth yeah. it. She, all, she want, all she wants is for you to do your best. Yes. So see when you're not giving her ten percent, she'll let you know, which is a good thing. Oh, it's you good. You've got to be direct. You've I mean, got you've got to be able to take the criticism as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just all she wants is for us to be 
I'm, I'm amazed she herself. She wants to take She wants to take Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, if you mean, and I think she does a really good job. Her she? reputation's on the line, so yeah. she wants us to excel. Yeah. Um, well, Paul and she, that she, well. she, yeah. she gets us there, and that's the uh-huh. good thing, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Good, eh? so between Paul and as well, they've done great they wonders with the show. Amazing. Right, I'm going to read out some of the other actors that's in here absolutely. because I need to put my specs on for that that's because okay. I am blind as a bat. <laughs> right, so Paddy's new music. For an old market, written by Paul Moore. Yep. yep. Directed by Isabel Barrett, what you're yep. saying. Um, right, so the hawk, what's it called? The Chris? hawkers, the which are the people that sell the stuff in the market, they were called hawkers. The hawkers, right, Aye. okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, Susan Sims is Shady, Sadie, yep. who we got on Facebook Live. Mm-hmm. Yep. She's some girl, she's hilarious. Just don't, 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 Julie Smith is pet foods patsy. She's amazing. She, she is brilliant. Absolutely. She absolutely. brings some. She just brings. She just takes her character <laughs> at a different level, doesn't she? When I it comes to Julie, she's yeah. amazing. <laughs> and Tanya McCaffrey. Yes, that's me. That's you. Tyson, Isaac. I, I love the way they've got all these sort of. Um, it's like a double barrel type name, isn't it? What's who was William Gerard Thomas as Kenny the Kenny the Kens? It is. He sells <laughs> fags. Oh, he sells the fags. He sells the fags. Yeah. Are they the dodgy fags? Yeah. Uh, I would put it past the mine. Rough. <laughs> but all <laughs> dodgy characters up <laughs> that lane, <laughs> so we are. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and we've already spoken about you, Chris, having two parts. Um, and Jared Drogan as Big Malky McManus. Amazing. Was Big amazing. Malky. Wasn't he brilliant? Right, Ross McHugh's Gall- Gallus Alice. She was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. She was the mammy. You don't, um, you don't need, um, <laughs> you don't muck about with her. You don't mess with her. No, you don't mess with Alice. Alice. No. She would have sorted everybody out back in the day. Absolutely. And how it took um, people that was in the audience back to the day where you weren't a cheeky to your mum. No. Yeah. No matter how harsh the mum had been. I mean, the mum was actually being a bit sort of, like, hard. And yeah. yeah. She wasn't letting the daughter into her heart, was she? She no. was just being like, I'm right. I'm not doing it. She was like, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. So I love that, and it does take us back. What you thought? Well, that, these days are gone. Yeah, pretty much. Absolutely. But we can bring them back alive. On no, the, definitely. On the stage, mm-hmm. which is definitely. what you did, one hundred percent. Who else did we have? We had Colin McGowan as ideal Alec. Is that he was son? Alec. He's was that the son? He's yeah. a dodgy son. Yeah. He's a dodgy, He's a dodgy son. son. Dodgy son. He was snorting enough cocaine for the holy bloody. Oh, he was um, snorting enough cake, coke for the lot. Yes, <laughs> he was for the whole lane. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And Kirstine Swinney is Sally, the daughter. She was beautiful. She was another great singer in the show. Absolutely oh, she, She's got an angelic voice. So I said that. Show the rest of us up. Isn't that mean well voice? She's amazing. <laughs> amazing. Mind you, the mammy's voice was beautiful. As she's yeah. very talented. See, between both of them, I'm like, you could she's have done that show just with Rato. Do you know what I mean? Has. And it would have been still been great. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> both of the voices well. are she's amazing. So nice. And then, of course, you've got um, Caden Clark as Jack. Caden. Absolutely. Caden uh, is he talented as well. Caden yes. goes to Vivace Musical Theatre School with my daughter. They both act together right. um, on a Thursday and they are so talented. Caden um, was, was in Paddy's last year as yeah. well and he, he does an amazing job no matter what he does and watch the space because those kids are going to be so so Isn't that brilliant? Absolutely. So nice and they're so, it's such a pleasure to meet them as well. Yeah. They're yeah. so approachable, you know, they were just so cuddly and everything. So nice. Absolutely. Listen guys, thank you so much. It's been no, a pleasure. No, anytime. I'm glad I've eventually got you. Can I, I just say something? I Can I just say, if anyone's looking to purchase tickets, you better get booking because the Webs is there. Yeah, Webs are land bigger. Fast, and it's on the 2nd of November. You can book uh, online, the yeah. Webster's, and they've got a number, 01413474000. Uh, if you're looking to purchase tickets, this is the time to do it and come and see both Chris and myself and the rest of the cast. <laughs> and thank you to Evelyn and David. Thank you for this interview. No, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Such a pleasure. Yeah. So listen, guys, that's me got to the end of that video. And um, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoy the videos as much as you say you do when you give me your comments, then do subscribe, like, and share, and all that jazz. See you next week.